Hello, hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you are okay, hope you are at home, hope you are taking care of your family and yourselves, of course. My name is Karin Ortiz and I'll be your English phonetics teacher for this year. Well, I've been thinking how to introduce my subject to you, especially a subject which is related to sounds to English pronunciation. So, my decision was to record this video for you and that you know me, that you listen to me, that you know my voice. I know that some students have already uh, met me in the introductory course, but I know that there are some students that haven't participated in, in that course. Well, um, one of the things that I have to, to tell you as regards phonetics is its importance in the career. You are going to be English teachers and you are going to speak in English. And if you do not know how to pronounce accurately, it's difficult that a native speaker or non-native speaker understand you. That's the, one of the reasons, the most important reason for phonetics. Then, another reason is that without knowing how to pronounce, it would be so difficult for you to understand a native speaker. That's a good reason. You know that in internet, um, in any website, we can find audios, podcasts, music in English. And if we do not know how to pronounce, how to, to produce the sounds, will be so difficult for you to understand that. So phonetic is not just understanding and pronouncing. It's, it's a course that will teach you not only pronunciation, but also you are going to have the ability to, to listen, to understand different kind of audios, different kind of uh, conversations. And apart from that, pronunciation is um, so, so important for you in your career as you have to train your, your learners how to pronounce and how to read because it's not just speaking and listening pronunciation. It's, it covers all the other skills that we have when we learn a language, in this case, English. Well, how are we going to work? We are going to have the campus. I've been working with the campus last year and I have made many modifications for this, this year too. Uh, in the campus you are going to have all the material for the subject. You are going to find the bibliography that you are, we are going to use in this subject. You are going to fi find audios, you are going to find online activities that you are going to work and everything for the course will be in the, in the campus. Also, you will have to participate in forum, discussion forums in order to, to complete the, or to, not to complete, to complement the face-to-face -face classes. And, of course, when we met again in face-to-face in -face classes, we'll continue working with the campus too. So you have to get accustomed to work in the campus. Well, one of the first activities that you are going to do is, first of all, to introduce yourself. You are going to have another video of me uh, introducing myself with the different things that I like doing 
um, so that you know a little bit of me. The second activity that we are going to work with is um, an activity related to phonetics. What is phonetics for you? Okay, and we are going to create a word cloud for that. All the instructions, all the requirements will be in the campus. So please keep in touch, try to log in daily as much as possible. And if you have doubts, you can ask me the doubts because my, my idea is that we work with Skype or maybe Zoom. I'm deciding uh, that in this moment, which of both are better for you. Well, I'll meet you in the campus and you, if you have doubts, please let me know, please. Thank you very much. See you soon. Hope to see you soon face to face. If not, we'll continue working in the campus. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much.